This video is on operations with matrices. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Here's an example. Matrix A right here, notice that it's a set or an array of numbers that are closed in square brackets. It has two rows, rows going across, and three columns, the columns going up and down, and is referred to as a two by three matrix. Each number is a matrix element identified by its row and column number. So A sub 12 is the element that's in row 1, column 2, and A sub 12 refers to element number 4. In order to add or subtract two matrices, we want to add or subtract their corresponding elements. In order to do this, the matrices must be of the same dimension. They must be the same size. So let's take a look at an example here. So here we have a matrix with 1, negative 1, 2, and 3, and we're adding that to 0, 2, negative 4, and 5. And these are of the same dimension. They're both 2 by 2 matrices, two rows going across, two columns going down. So to find the sum, we're just going to add their corresponding elements. So 1 plus 0 is 1, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2, and 3 plus 5 is 8. And that's our solution. A matrix equation is an equation in which the variable is a matrix. Solve as you would a regular equation. So here's an example. So I need to solve this 2 by 2 matrix plus, notice it's an uppercase x, and that x refers to a matrix, is equal to this 2 by 2 matrix. In other words, what do I have to add to this in order to get this? Well, I can solve it just as I would a regular equation. I can say that x is equal to, the matrix x is equal to this matrix minus this matrix. So 2, 0, negative 3, 1, minus this matrix over here, 6, 1, negative 2, 3. So matrix X is going to be equal to 2 minus 6, which is negative 4, 0 minus 1, negative 1, 3, negative 3 minus a negative 2, or 1, and 1 minus 3, negative 2. Oops, wait, negative 3 minus 2, sorry, that should be a negative 1 there. Okay, so that's what the x matrix is equal to. So this first matrix plus our solution is equal to that matrix right there. Equal matrices have the same dimensions and equal corresponding elements. So in other words, here's an example. Find the value of each variable. This 2 by 2 matrix is equal to this 2 by 2 matrix. And notice that this matrix has some variables and it has x and it has t. So they are of the same dimension, they're both 2 by 2, and their corresponding elements are equal to each other. So 2 is equal to 4x minus 6. 4 is equal to negative 10t plus 5. 8 is equal to 4x, and 4.5 is equal to 15t plus 1.5x. So I don't actually have to write and solve all of those equations. Let's just pick the ones that are going to give me x and y. So I'm really liking this one right here. So 8 is equal to 4x, so I know that x is equal to 2. And then how about for t? I know that 4 is equal to negative 10t plus 5, so subtracting 5 on each side. and then dividing by 10, t is equal to 1 tenth. So if two matrices are equal, then their corresponding elements are equal to each other. A matrix can be multiplied by a real number factor called a scalar. To multiply a matrix by a scalar, multiply each element of the matrix by that scalar. So if matrix A is equal to 5, 1, 0, negative 2, and I need to find negative 3 times A, that means that I just multiply every element of matrix A by negative 3. So matrix negative 3A is going to be each of these elements multiplied by negative 3. So negative 15, negative 3, 0, 
and 6. So that's called scalar multiplication. Just multiply each element by that number. You can also multiply two matrices times each other. The product of two matrices is, as it makes sense, another matrix. Two matrices can be multiplied only if their dimensions are the same or if the number of columns of the first matrix is the same as the number of rows of the second matrix. So for example, here we have a 2 by 2 matrix times a 2 by 3 matrix. The number of columns of the first matrix, which is 2, is the same as the number of rows of the second matrix. Then the dimensions of the product matrix are going to be the number of rows of the first matrix by the number of columns of the second matrix. So when I multiply these, I'm going to get a 2 by 3 matrix. Let's take a look at an example here. Oh, actually, before we do the example, let me talk about how to do this. To find the elements in the product matrix, the elements from the rows and columns are multiplied, then added. So here's how you would do a 2 by 2 matrix, although it flows over into any other pair of matrices that can be multiplied. I'm going to work across the first row and down of the first matrix and down the first column of the second matrix. So I'm going to do A times E plus B times G. Notice I went across the first row and down the first column, multiplying A and E, and then multiplying B and G, and then adding those together to give me the element in the first row, first column of my product matrix. Then I'm going to go across the first row and go down the second column in order to get the element in the first row, second column of my product matrix. So A times F plus B times H going across the first matrix and down in the second one. <clears throat> now to get the element in the first, second row first column, I'm going to go across the second row of the first matrix, so C and D, and down the first column, EG. So C times E plus D times G gives me that element there. And then to get my last element in the second row second column of my product matrix, I'm going to go across the second row and down the second column. So C times F plus D times H gives me that element right there. I wouldn't really worry about memorizing you know, the A's and the B's and the C's and all of that, but just know that you're going across the rows and down the columns, multiplying and then adding. Let's take a look at an example here. Here I have two 2 by 2 matrices, and since they are the same dimension, I know that I can multiply them. So my product matrix, I'm going to go ahead and write everything out here. So I'm going to go across the first row and down the first column. So 1 times negative 3 plus 0 times 5. That's going to give me the value of my first element, going across the first row and down the first, col down the first column. Now let's go across the top first row and down the second column. So 1 times 4 is 4 plus 0 times 2, which is 0. That's going to give me my element in my first row second column of the product matrix. Now let's go across the, sec the second row and down the first column. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus negative 3 times 5 is a negative 15. So it's going across the second row and down the first column and then adding. And let's go across, now for the last element, let's go across the second row and down the second column. 2 times 4 is 8, plus negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And now let's go ahead and do that addition. Negative 3, 4, negative 21, and 2. So in this video, we took a look at operations with matrices, how to add, subtract um, two, two matrices, how to solve a matrix equation that has a, a variable representing a missing matrix, how to multiply a matrix by a scalar, and then how to multiply two matrices.